Yo, yo, folks. No, it's not Jesus on steroids. It's me, Lodge. Um, been getting a few messages um, saying, what well, wasn't that body power? Um, the thing is, bodybuilding, I don't class as a hobby now. This is um, a bit of advice for the young uns again, really. So You're lucky, you're getting all this advice off Uncle Boom, man. Um, right. I didn't get to body power because I went to a car show and you'd be thinking, well, why a car show when you're into bodybuilding? So, yeah, I'm, I love bodybuilding it, and it is my life, but that's what I'm saying. It's not a hobby, it's something I do. Um, with cars, I love cars, I've always been into cars. Um, so this is where the advice comes into all well, you young lifters. and you, You'll be like so focused on lifting, lifting, lifting. And yeah, it's a good thing, but you remember in bodybuilding, things can go wrong as well. Um, it happened to me. Um, quite a few years ago, um, doing all the body powers and stuff, loved them. I loved hanging out with like-minded people, love it, all the meet and the greeting stuff, awesome stuff. Um, but I went to Mauritius to get married, and um, wife's always saying, no, I shouldn't be doing this, shouldn't be doing that, shouldn't be eating here, shouldn't be eating there. She always, <laughs> it's always like looking out for me. But one day I went off the beaten track up to the hills in Mauritius, and um, stopped his place, a bite to eat, she goes, oh, I don't know about this sort of place. And um, anyway... Fancy the curry in this little little shack up in the hills. Thought that'd be all cool. But anyway, uh, brought me dinner out on this leaf. I thought, yeah, proper jungle styley. Um, nice curry, bit of um, salad and vegetables and bits and pieces. And then, as the holiday went on, we got married then, and I started feeling really rough. And I thought, is this, is this marriage thing not agreeing with me? Do you know what I mean? But <laughs> only joking, only joking. But anyway, it kept going on and on and on and. And I started losing size, um, carried on training, I weren't feeling right. Well, anyway, I walked into the doctors, because I, I was like, this time, I thought, it's not seriously wrong here, I, I couldn't keep food down, and et cetera. And anyway, I walked to the doctors, see a big guy come in straight away, oh, but it's your heart. So they're saying, stop training, stop this, stop that. And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, do you know what I mean? It was like, welded like, oh, shit. So anyway... Um, went through all that shit and this that, and the other had tests and no it was all, all cool but I got that paranoid about it when I see a, a cardiologist up in um, up in London um, Sanjay Sharman top top dude went in there put me on all the stress tests scans all that sort of stuff because by the time I was really paranoid about it and he said you need to fuck off out of it there's nothing wrong with you sort of thing so touch wood thank god for that all good stuff but anyway I still weren't feeling right so Went back to my GP in the village, but I won't get anywhere with them, so I thought, sod that, I'll go back to my old GP in my old village. And um, they said, have you done any stool samples and things like that? I said, no, the GP hasn't done nothing like that, just blood tests and things, couldn't find nothing. So in a stool sample, it turned out I had a, a thing called um, H. pylori, and that shit, that, that, honestly, mate, it sent me batshit crazy. Um, but during that space of finding out what was going on, so it took a long while, it took about a year and a half, two years to actually find out what was going on. So by this time I'd lost size, etc. That's when they were seeing me at the body powers and stuff after after like 2011. And um, so anyway, I had to go on antibiotics, like triple, quadruple courses and shit, and that didn't agree with me. I, was, I found out I was allergic to that shit, so that put me back in hospital, etc. I was like, mate, what's going on? But the, the thing is, um, see, body... But, you know, either injuries, illnesses, it can just finish you like that, bam, do you know what I mean? So my advice is to youngsters out there, always have other hobbies, other hobbies and interests, because it was basically the Volkswagens, all like my dubs and things like that, that got me through that shit, because I was going batshit crazy, and I had to lift and lose in size, so honestly, out there, don't focus everything on bodybuilding, um, remember to stop, and smell the roses but now and again. Um, take other hobbies up. Um, so I do lots of things like fishing, my cars, and, and stuff like that. So my advice out there to you guys is always have other hobbies because if something goes drastic, it could be an injury, it could be an illness, uh, and that shit makes you feel bad. So you always need something just to concentrate on as well to get you through some of these shit times, you know. And it happens in bodybuilding, it happens a lot. Just people don't talk about it. Um, so yeah, my advice is have other hobbies as well. Um, don't throw everything 100% into bodybuilding because at the end of the day, it's only a small percentage that are going to be Mr. Olympia or top of the tree because trust me, you have to put so much shit into that. You know what I mean? It's crazy. So that's Uncle Boom's advice for the day really. So um, apart from that, enjoy your training. 
do other things, have, a ho have a, other hobbies, and just, uh, yeah, keep safe. Peace. Bolt.